My name is uh, John French. Um, welcome everybody to this kickoff of Lean Construction Ireland COP. It's great to see such a turnout. It's wonderful. So um, we're going to keep this very tight to the time. You'll see me looking over here at the time quite regularly. In light of Lean, we better get in and out here exactly as we had planned. Okay, so I'll get through this pretty fast. I'll introduce people as we go. So, so, the, so first of all, you can see here the time, 7.40. Um, we have no logo. We're about two weeks old. Um, we don't know. Uh, so we don't have all the answers. And between us together, collectively, hopefully, uh, you'll see the tone throughout the presentation. We're going to probably crack this between us together. The front line here, don't know all the answers, but collectively, hopefully, we do. And we can lean on people across the COPs across, across the US and the UK. So um, the agenda, let me go through it. Introduction, I'll, I'll go through that pretty fast. Um, owner's perspective, Joe Foley. I'll introduce people as we go in a second. Um, official launch of LCI, John Pemberton, who's on the LCI board in the US. Um, if at any stage you can't hear me, just let me know. Um, so John Pemberton is head of construction for Intel Worldwide and also on the board of the LCI. Nick Massey, uh, just here in front of us, is on the COP, lead of the COP of the New England uh, branch in the US. Um, and then we'll get into a, uh, what is lean and the current state in Ireland, Paul Ebbs, uh, Arlene, and Kevin White. And then we'll break out into uh, what people need from the COP going forward, as opposed to what we will do for people. So it's a very much a collective uh, group that we're trying to kick off here together, everybody together. And then we'll ha there's a questionnaire on your seats. Um, you can fill it out as we go. Our, the two things I've told the guards at the door to do is don't let you people out without a questionnaire and handing back the badge. <laughs> okay, so we'll get through this pretty fast. Okay, um, we don't have an official uh, LCI in Ireland, as in LCI Ireland. We're a COP community of practice off of LCI US. Um, in time, hopefully, depending on how this grows, I know it's a, it's a request of LCI that you set up your own LCI Ireland, or, uh, um, as opposed to have a COP off the US. Um, and hopefully in time we'll get there, and hopefully in time we'll have a southern region COP, and a western and a central, and so on. But we, we intentionally kicked it off as one uh, COP um, from a country perspective and see where it grows from there. Okay, so... Um, distinguished guests, uh, John, if you'd just stand up, just that everybody knows you, John Pemberton and Nick Massey. Uh, so uh, you'll hear more of those guys as we go, okay? Uh, I apologize to any other distinguished guests, all of you. <laughs> okay, can we start here or go all the way down? No, okay, all right. <laughs> okay, so introductions, John French Intel, okay? So Paul, do you want to stand up? Paul, Paul Ebbs. Adam HQ, Lean Consultant, you need to hear more from Paul pretty soon. Kevin White, Jones Engineering. Uh, Paul Sexton, SCEG. Uh, Ray Turner, Construction Innovation Lab, representing the education. So a couple of us got together two weeks ago. Paul and I had a conversation. We need to kick off the COP. Paul said, yeah, we need to have a chat about it. And I said, and John Pemberton's here in two weeks, and we're kicking off in two weeks. So that's how we're here tonight. So. So that's pretty good. So, um, so it's great. The turnout is immense. I'm delighted with. Let's and I think one of the key things for tonight, um, from all of our perspective, is people were we were asking this question: What would success look like at the back end of tonight? And the key thing here for us is that people come back the next night. That's all we want. If we can get through tonight, we've registered something in people's heads that there's something in this for us, or there's some benefit in it. Um, I think this would be an absolute success. So the key is that people come back the next night, and that's all we want out tonight. Simple as that. Um, uh, I've probably gone through some of this. Um, this is voluntary um, for now. Um, there's no fee for now. We hopefully, like if you go to the other COPs, there's a $20 registration fee. Um, we're going to keep this as free for as long as we can to encourage people to, to come to these. 
Um, we're looking for other owners, contractors, trades, engineers, education to host in the future, and it's great that uh, Jones Engineering have have already volunteered to to host the next one. So that that's really really good. So that's excellent, and I think DPS have said that they will give a presentation on lean construction and um, last planner and the next one. So we're already planning the next one. So that's great. Um, and I think the key thing here is we're looking for people to share their knowledge of success in lean and plan to meet every one to two months. Um, so I'm not going to go through, down through the vision, the mission, all of that, because uh, we, we won't have time. Uh, and it's also on your seats as well for you to take home and read, put under the pillow. And, um, but it's all about value. Value for the customer, value for the contractor, value for the people, value for everybody. Um, there's easier, easier ways to do stuff, and it's, and it's creating that value for everybody. And, and a customer may be a, a, an electrician where the uh, apprentice may be feeding materials. So there's multiple customers along the chain. Um, developing knowledge, collaboration, cultivating relationships, and what we want this to be is a catalyst to transform uh, the, in the industry, the construction industry, and that's why groups like this get together, as a catalyst to transform the industry, and, and if we can get somebody out of this, great, if we're not making any progress, um, we shouldn't be meeting, so it's, it's a waste of time us meeting if, if, if we're not getting value out of it. But it, the intent here is that this is a catalyst to change the way we do construction and learn from each other and, um, and move that productivity curve. And I know multiple, m multiple people will talk to the productivity curve in a second. Um, purpose of the LCI community, co uh, conversation to include all members share what they have learned in the industry. And you might think this is tough. A lot, there's different people at different phases along the, the journey of Lean. Um, and most people say it's common sense. I just saw someone on LinkedIn there last week saying, this is just common sense. It's just a, uh, it, there's nothing to it only. It's just common sense. Um, so what would success look like? And, and I think th I put this in for uh, tonight. We probably have spectators, uh, participants, and with people that are here to learn, and people here that will take action out of this. Um, it's okay for people to be spectators. Let, let's see over time if, if, you, if people evolve to being a participant and then learning in action. But I think between us collectively, bear with us as we grow this. This is two weeks old, and we've got probably 150 people here. 450 invitations went out, and we have 150 people here in two weeks. So we have a great start made already. So um, it's OK to just be a participant on, on the ditch, just, just watching to see how this will evolve or not. I'm not a lean practitioner. I know a little bit about it. I'm learning from the likes of Kevin and the likes of Ray um, uh, as we go. But who knows where it will take us? It's a journey. If we don't start, we won't finish. Um, Joe, I'll pass over to Joe Foley, head of construction for Intel, to give his story from, a, from an owner's perspective, but also his journey from a lean perspective. Um, so I'll pass you over to Joe.